Do you know that killing in war is actually obsolete? If, if um, the basis of all logic is uh, begins is rooted in, in Christology, you control other nations uh, by sending them some supplies. You know, they don't. We don't want you to know how much you control a nation's government by uh, fixing something for poor people that's supposed to be broken. Because in bureaucracy, you know, remember when there was all this bottled water in the, on, on the, um, the plane delivered bottled water to Puerto Rico in a storm. And they made sure nobody can get it. There was no militia that ran roughshod and captured all of those relief supplies. It was one of our politician because uh, Puerto Rico is a territory. So it was one of the American politicians who uh, seized the bottled water, almost like a Janjaweed militia. And she said that because there was political capital that she felt was supposed to be earmarked or supposed to go for her for her administration or campaign or whatever, she didn't want to share. It's not like it's not like she didn't want people to get water. She didn't want people to get water and not know that it was that she helped. So you need a germ scare for people to believe they're essential. People who listen and don't offer solutions, but like Kaiser So say, they have to be needed. You have to always need them. You can't kill me, you can't kill me, you need me, you need me. But just the same way that a flag blows around in the wind, if you put a smiley face on one side and the other side flips over, and it's a mean, vapid, um, uh, emotional vampire who's trying to placate and cudgel and do everything up their sleeve. Every trick up their sleeve Base is just because, like, we got to make sure these people don't get the wrong impression or idea about us. Why not? You're just not interesting like anybody else. Narcissistic, like Vox Day, who feels like he can pretty much beat up anybody uh, down to the, up above the age of 15. Why stop there, Vox? There's probably somebody younger than 15 who can beat you up. So you can beat up 80% of the population of men down to the age of 15? I bet you can go a little bit lower and there's still a population that can whoop Vox Day's ass even though he's so eclectic, interesting, and, you know, like he has to be, like people don't understand how dope that his perspectives are and his, uh, his views and takes and talking points, toast points, actually. Is he makes good toast points. I don't know why he, why he doesn't know how fucking fly that it is that he would want to be one of his orbitals. So, you know what it is? He just talks not, he doesn't talk like an off-board motor. If you were talking like Yamaha, really <laughs> if you're just like, then you have orbiters. You talk fast and you must have intelligence. People who talk slow and clear and move from one point at a time and do one thing at a time and no one thing leads to another are slow, dumb. And they don't like... Like, you got to figure out some kind of way to fucking talk fast past everybody who tries to 
come up with a pushback or kind of a, a counterpoint. <sighs> Counterpoints. Fuck those things up fast. They can be like, and be fucking over. like you, like a, like a speedboat that just hit a wave and just, just sail on. <laughs> just way out there. Quick before anybody can reel it in. All right, we we got we must. Um, see that that is superior. We have to accept your position. It's a superior, intrinsically superior position. Because you talk fast. And because you have that streak of confusing uh, purple hair or something. You you watched another man fuck your girlfriend. I got you. You don't have the balls to suck a cock because you haven't sat back and watched another man bang, slapping cheeks of your girlfriend, wife. Does this sound like some type of superior? <sighs> Um, methodology that's going to get us from this planet to another planet before we become a dead end. I might be a genetic dead end, but the human race doesn't have to be a genetic dead end. And America doesn't have to be a, a genetic dead end. Eva. E Eva. Eva. Or ever. But I mean, ever eventually. 10,000 years is fair. For a nation, if you don't get together with some uh, valid toast points and move on to the next planet, planet hopping, then you're gonna die off in this planet, and it'll be a tragedy. Because you stayed here. I don't. I'm not suggesting rockets either. Are gonna be because you you know what it is. Is that at some point before uh, us, people try to project their consciousness now we per, we try to elevate man to the level of god so we can make statues and shit if that doesn't work and you kind of go back and wonder what they try to do before and is that possible there's a there's a there's a a trade-off you're dismissive of the other one so if you are like the pre-Diluvian Typhonians who try to um, project their consciousness out to the universe, then you know that the shit to come is a bunch of bullocks. They want to elevate man to the level of God and they make statues or they can name a street after them. After them. Um, that ain't gonna work. You're gonna be stuck on this planet. We might not have got off the planet, so we got weary and went to branch out and try other things. But those other things that we tried turned out to be bunk shit, okay? Just establish this, even if it doesn't make sense to us because we raise elite man to the level of God with statues and names of streets, that is even possible for you to project your consciousness out anywhere, just out anywhere. You don't project in consciousness to the universe. That doesn't make sense. Well, they don't, you don't make fucking sense either to them to, we're trying that. Like, how are you gonna stop this to try to do that way? And just because that's true doesn't mean that you should get mad and start trying to topple statues and lash out and trying to strike out against uh, the municipality. Uh, now, here's the thing is that even though I'm saying this is that I'm guilty that I just try to do that. I used to hold a sign. Try to hold your sign. Oh, do you, and push it sign over to other people with the sign. <laughs> and uh, fucking, I was part of that. 
so I, I'm it's kind of like it's weird it feels funny for weird for me to tell somebody else mm. It's just up to you in the, in the long run what you think is a better efficient use of your energy. And people who hold a sign and push over the people and smash windows, they can't imagine that there's another way or a different, um, I don't know, that there's another dimension to this shit or something it's like a dynamic or something yeah that there's other um wavelengths and and uh there's like planes planes of existence or pla different planes there's divashanic planes there, you know anything that can be exploited is all exploited for science even though it's actually there for self-help at some point like start to study self-help or something it'll get diverted because there's a use that works out and it actually helps out in transhumanist industrialization or egalitarian uh um ideal is like trying to captivate the you know trying to get the the hearts and the minds when is ever hearts and minds important? If you're just a guy doing your thing, that's excellent. You don't need to worry about fucking hearts and minds. But there's some, you know, like people can't, there's certain people that are not specifically supposed to get off of this idea of hearts and minds waiting for them. That's going to be a thing. And they have funding so that you can't ignore it, so that you can't ignore it, even if it's just for them.